So just before we go to uh, the Learn Together from uh, Reverend Deanna Cox in Killam, uh, she's also doing the message uh, today. Um, over the last little while, we have uh, forgotten to do a really important thing that we used to do all the time. Uh, and that is, uh, yesterday was Ava's birthday. And so she's having a birthday weekend, a party weekend. It was Ben's birthday last week, and Elise's, and Sheila's. It's hard when you get to 50, isn't it, Sheila? Yeah. Um, and, and Ava will be a teenager any day now. So uh, we have a little birthday song that we sing. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with the birthday song, please feel free to sing happy birthday or anything for that matter, if you like. But let's, the birthday song. Happy birthday to you, oh happy birthday. Amen. Yeah. Awesome. Here's Deanne. Hello, everyone. Reverend Deanna Cox here. And though I might not be physically with you, I invite you to join me in our learning together time. And I invite you, if you wish, to gather at the front um, or perhaps just scooch around in the pews so that you can see the screen a little better and maybe hear um, the best that you can. I want to share a story with you today called Be a Good Ancestor. It goes like this. Be a good ancestor with the water. Raindrops turn into, become puddles, which become streams, which become rivers, which become life. And if you've been very lucky, you will have experienced some raindrops recently. The story says, be a good ancestor with the land, because seeds become seedlings, which become trees, which become forests, which become oxygen. And the story continues on inviting us to be good ancestors with, well, maybe you can guess. To be good ancestors with all the things that fly. To be good ancestors with all the things that swim and walk like the mammals. And then, can you guess what else? That's right, to be good ancestors with our neighbors. Because the story says, neighbors become friends, and friends become communities, and communities become nations, and nations become allies. This is one of the parts that I like a lot about this book, because it goes on to say, be good relations with your thoughts. Huh. I wonder why our thoughts are so important. Let's see what the book says. It says, be good relations with your thoughts. Because thoughts become ideas. Ideas become action. Action becomes movements. And movements become change. So you see, what we think is very important. They also said, be good relations with your words. Words become expressions, expressions become stories, stories become narratives, and narratives become truth. We're going to hear some stories a little later, uh, stories about people that are living out their truths that are living as Easter people. And we're also going to hear stories that have become the truths of our faith and how they call us to be good ancestors. So I want you to uh, pay attention. 
if you were in the room when you hear those stories, and maybe if you're going to Sunday school, ask somebody to talk to you about those stories and how they call us to be good ancestors. And then one of the uh, last things that they say in the story is be a good ancestor with yourself. That's important too. We have a story like that, a narrative, a truth like that in our Bible too. And it says, love your neighbor as yourself. So I hope you enjoyed that paraphrasing of be a good ancestor. And I wanted to share that with you today because I don't know if you've noticed in the church where you are at anything special around did you notice anything? I'll give you a hint. It's this color. Today, May 5th, is Red Dress Day. It's a very special day, but it's kind of also a hard day because it is a day when we remember all the missing and murdered Indigenous women. And Although it's kind of sad, it is very important because I think it's a very key piece to us being a good ancestor to ourselves and to our communities, to the world, to, tell, to create narratives that tell the truth, to use our words, to um, share our values, all those things to be a good ancestor. Our story, I mentioned from our Bible that says, love your neighbor as yourself. Loving is so much more than giving somebody a big hug. Loving is remembering people that have gone missing and doing our very best to find justice, seek justice for them. So it's a really big topic. And so to help us remember and to be a good ancestor, I hope you will have a little paper doll or bookmark like this. And you can color it, you can write on it. Maybe you wanna write, be a good ancestor or love one another or seek justice. Maybe you wanna decorate the dress so that you remember them. This is to help us remember to be a good ancestor, to love each other as we love ourselves, and to do our very best every day to live as Easter people.